Hi, Marie here from Pottery Crafters. In this video, I'm going to give you a full review on this Brent CXC pottery wheel. I'll go through the features, how well it operates, and the maintenance involved. All the supplies used in this video are listed for you below in the show notes. Amico Brent has been in business for over a hundred years, making their first pottery wheel in 1947. I've had this Brent CXC pottery wheel for over six years. It's a pretty solid wheel weighing around 120 pounds. It's 27 inches long, 21 inches across, and 21 inches high. The switch lights up green when you turn it on. It has a forward and reverse option. With the flip of a switch, you can go from forward to neutral and then reverse. The neutral position ensures the wheel stops completely before changing direction. The forward and reverse option is nice if you have multiple potters with different dominant hands or you prefer to throw left or right-handed. I change direction for trimming and decorating. The CXC has a powerful one-horse motor that makes the wheel head rotate 140 revolutions per minute. When pressing down on the clay the wheel won't slow down because the motor has great torque, which is the rotating force on the wheel. This is a big plus especially when centering large amounts of clay which is also why the wheel can handle 300 pounds of clay. Now I'd like to emphasize that while it gives you an advantage, many potters may never center more than 25 pounds of clay at a time. But if you want to center large amounts of clay, this wheel will do it for you. The CXC has a solid 14 inch aluminum wheel head. The larger wheel head gives you greater freedom as you're developing your skill in pottery making. The wheel head is marked with parallel circles to help center your clay for both throwing and trimming. When you throw, you can feel the quality of the wheel head, which adds to its appeal. The wheel head has standard 10 inch bat holes with removable bat pins. My brand also included a 14 inch plasti bat. I have a pretty thorough video on pottery wheel bats, the types you can get, how to use them, and store them. The link is in the show notes below for you. This, deta this detachable, <laughs> detachable. <laughs> this detachable splash pan is a good feature. You may need to remove the splash pan to decorate or trim your clay and to cut test tiles. Some potters will throw with very little water and not even use a splash pan, but I'm not one of them. Personally, I don't take the splash pan off every time I throw. It really depends on how often I throw. But I never let my splash pan build up with too much clay, like I'm sure you've seen on other videos. The ability to easily move the splash pan does make the wheel much easier to clean. This durable cast aluminum foot pedal provides a smooth speed transfer that allows for precision control, which is very important when you're throwing on the wheel. When you take your foot off the pedal, the wheel stays at that speed, which is very important. You can hit the like button anytime during this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime a new video comes out. Yes, this is a workhorse built to take a lot of pressure and last a long time, with the proper care and maintenance. With that said, the Brent wheel does require some maintenance, like cleaning the clay off of the wheel after each session is a good habit to develop. It's essential to make sure that the clay doesn't build up under the wheel head. Make sure to remove the splash pan from time to time and check under the wheel head and remove any caked on clay you see. Not having clay build up under the wheel head helps it run better and last longer. 
which every potter wants that. Do the same with the bat pins. The pins have wingnut bolts. That makes them very easy to remove. Clean them or replace them if they get rusty or worn out. You also have the ability to adjust the speed on the wheel head under the pedal. If you find your wheel is moving when the pedal is in the off position, it's an easy fix. Just remove the bottom panel and lightly adjust the speed with a small screwdriver. Check your belt from time to time to make sure that it's not cracked, frayed, or slipping. If you hear this noise, you need to stone the commutator and clean the brushes. Unplug the wheel and put the forward reverse switch in neutral. You'll need a commutator brush cleaner. Mine was cracked in half. It was actually shipped like this, but it still works fine. Remove the two brush caps. The brushes are spring-loaded. Make sure you know which side the brushes have marks on them to reinstall the same way. They look more like little metal blocks to me than brushes. Gently press the commutator cleaner where the brush was and rotate the pulley around a few times. Do this on both sides. Place the sandpaper on the curve of the wheel leg as you sand to maintain the curve of the brush. Replace the brush the way it came out. Insert the copper tooth and slide the cap in place. Then screw it back in place. And the noise is gone. I've only had to do this twice in six years. Of course, you do hear the classic Brent hum. And that's how it should sound. A little maintenance will go a long way to keep your pottery wheel running well for many years to come. Of course, along with the wheel, you do need a good chair or stool to sit on. I found this office chair to be most comfortable. I simply took the back and the arms off. I have a post on my Pottery Crafters website with a few chairs and stools for you to choose from, including this one. There are a few accessories that will help you craft your clay on the wheel. I found the Giffen Grip and Giffen Grip Mini are great accessories to go with this wheel. They were great for quick trimming. Some potters find centering to trim a bit time consuming, but either one of these accessories can be a perfect solution. It sure was for me. And you don't have to make clay logs to hold your pottery in place. I also have a detailed review and comparison video on the original Giffen Grip and the Giffen Grip Mini. I left the link for you below in the show notes so you can find out which one is best for you. The CXC may be the only pottery wheel you'll ever need, whereas you may go through a few budget pottery wheels. After trying multiple wheels, I have to say I do like the feel of the Brent better. Yes, the Brent CXC wheel is on the higher end. Is the price worth it? Yes. The fine balance between the value and quality makes this an excellent choice. The saying, you get what you pay for, stands. As soon as you sit down and throw, you'll immediately feel how well the wheel is built. While this wheel sits in the upper tier of the wheel price spectrum, you can also choose from B and C models. They're all the same size, have forward and reverse, and 10-inch bat holes. But they do differ with the motor and the wheel head. The Brent B wheel has only a half a horsepower motor, a 12-inch wheel head, and a 150-pound capacity. The Brent C model has 3 fourths horsepower, 
a 14 inch wheel head and 225 pound capacity. Compared to the Brent CXC with one horsepower, 14 inch wheel head, which is the same, and 300 pound capacity. That's why I chose the CXC. Who doesn't want more horsepower? The warranty makes it worth the investment. In case anything goes wrong, it's good to have a peace of mind with the 10 year warranty. There's a reason why you see a lot of Brent pottery wheels in studios and classes. Whether you're just starting out or you want to upgrade your current pottery wheel, the Brent CXC is a great place to start and end. From my own experience with this wheel, as well as what other potters say about its performance, you will be a happy potter. You watching helps me to make more videos, like this one. Now head on over to my video on how to center clay on this pottery wheel. Or my video on how to throw a cylinder on this pottery wheel. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.